Hey guys, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. Alrighty, today what we are going to do is we are going to do a test slash versus video between our right blade and a left bladed circular saw. Now we are, we are not going to test tool versus tool when it comes to power, time, uh, we're, we are going to test out to see which one is more convenient to do than the other. Now, if you're left-handed or right-handed, that might be a part of the equation as well. I'm right-handed, so we're, we are going to see which one is actually better to use, a right blade or a left blade. But I want to know the difference between a right-handed person using both to see what's more convenient and to see what position I have to actually be in to make the cut so I could see what I'm cutting and to see how well it actually holds up when it comes to comfort. The Cobalt, the model number is KCS654B-03, uh, six and a half inch blade, a brushless motor, and this goes to 45, oh, sorry, 5400 RPM. Uh, there is a somewhat of a, uh, an immediate stop, you know, it does take a little bit to wind down. There is an L LED light right there. All right, so for the Ryobi, it is also a brushless motor. Ryobi, it's model number P508. It is 3800 RPM with a seven and a quarter inch blade. Yeah, that's a huge difference when it comes to RPMs against the, uh, the Cobalt. So what I have is I have a couple of uh, old doors that I need to chop up and throw away because I can't burn them because they have paint on them. So they need to be chopped up and thrown away and we, we are gonna use these two to do so. I'm sorry, I made some cuts already. Uh, make sure you wear gloves and safety glasses. Sorry, I forgot for that door. All right, so I drew four lines. We're gonna do two precision cuts per saw and we're gonna see how easy it is when it comes to the visibility of what I could actually see. Being on the right side, when I'm on the left side, I can't see exactly where the blade is because I have to hunch over like that. So we are going to test this out and see what actually uh, actually happens on my, the accuracy of me cutting this. <clears throat> All right, so ready, go. All right, so I wasn't able to see the blade at all. I relied on the little nook, the little nook right here to guide my line. It's a little unsettling that I, I can't see the blade. All right, so we're gonna do the Ryobi next. All right, so now when it comes to the camera view, you're not gonna be able to see it. Well, so I'll switch the camera angle for the next shot when it comes to the Ryobi. All right, so ready, go. For that shot, I was able to see the blade and the nook when it comes to following my guide. Now, I'm going to try to use this with my left hand to where I'm in the same position as the Ryobi. Let's see if I, let's see if, if I could actually do this. Alright, so ready, go.
And let's try, we're gonna go on this side and we're gonna try to use my left hand. So now I'm in the same position of having a circular saw that's right bladed with, because I can't see the blade and I can only see the nook. But I'm using my left hand. So let's see, let's see if I can follow this. Ready, go. There is your thumbnail. All right, so we are gonna completely cut up this door with me using this and I wanna see how it feels. Now, when I cut it up with the Ryobi, it 100% felt natural to use because I could see the blade and the little uh, nook so I could see the guidelines. So there are no lines, but you know, it's it's just convenient. So. When I'm here, like I said in the early in the video, I could just see the nook and not see where the what uh, what the blade is doing. So that also means I cannot check the work to see if the uh, if it's just shredding the uh, the wood. So I can't monitor what's going on right here this way. All right, so let's cut this up. I'm gonna finish cutting this up, then that's pretty much it for the cutting. Alrighty, so when it comes to these uh, circular saws, I feel that the cobalt ran smoother, but increasing the size of the blade actually does change the performance of the tool because there's more rotations it needs to go, so the more work the tool needs to do, but <coughs> you get to cut deeper. So when it comes to these specific uh, circular saws, the cobalt's battery gets uh, placed in the back and the Ryobi's battery gets placed on the side to where it actually feels a little bit more balanced than the cobalt. I can tell you this, when it comes to the blades, I need, because I'm right-handed, I need the left-sided uh, blade than the right because it's nice to, for me to uh, see the cut and I get to see what's happening by the blade and the material if it's uh, chopping the material up or if it's uh, cutting it smoothly. Because uh, you get to know then, with that, before you cut too much, that if your blade is worn out or not. Anyways, I do prefer the, the left-sided blade because uh, it's, just, it's way more convenient for a right-hander. Now, I do wish that they companies would just pick a left or right because if you're a huge cobalt fan and you're a right-handed person and you want a left-handed blade you know the their saw is not going to be convenient because you know you're part of the system and you want you don't want to buy another brand just to have a left-sided blade so it's it's a really it's really a preference on what you're used to and what you what you just want so but for me i need a left-handed blade to uh to do this uh but yeah that's pretty much it please subscribe to the channel hit the bell button to be notified of future videos this is dave nicholas thank you for tuning in and i'll see you guys next time